Am I the asshole? For keeping my brother's life insurance. Like I said, Jay passed away recently in a car accident and Mary found out that I was the beneficiary of his 401k and life insurance policy through his employer. The life insurance is 150k but the 401k is much more substantial. He set it up that way years ago before Mary was in the picture and never changed it. Mary begged me to give her a portion of the money but I said no. She inherited his part of their house, and their joint savings account which is about 50k. She said that she paid for his funeral, and to make it work on her income alone, she will have to sell the house, give up the nanny, put the girls in daycare, and won't be able to help her older kids with college the way they planned. I told her it's not my fault. If he wanted to change the beneficiary, he should have done that. But he didn't so now the money is mine. My wife and I plan to use the money to buy a home and finally start a family. She says her husband's money should go to his children, but she doesn't see that me using the money to have my own children is more important. Our parents think I'm in a hole because the money should go to his kids. I offered to take 50k and put it in trust for the girl's education. But they said Mary needs the money now. They said the life insurance would pay off their mortgage and the boys' college and put money away for the girl's future, and her income would cover the rest so they wouldn't have to move. But what about my family? You're the asshole your hypothetical and non-existent children and house do not take precedent over his very real widow, children, and post-mortem finances. You're the asshole. You know damn well that if your brother had realized that you were still listed as beneficiary he would have changed it. Your make-believe unborn children are not more important than the children who just tragically lost their dad, one of the worst traumas that can happen to children. You describe your brother with vindictiveness as the golden child, as though he did not earn his full ride to college while you couldn't make it. You're the asshole you just hit the lottery off your brother's death and didn't even pay for his funeral. You know you're an asshole and hopefully you can recover and do the right thing. You're the asshole. Even though you legally own the money, Jay also already have his own children. Why use Jay's money to fund your family and not Jay's own? You said it yourself, he put you as beneficiary way before he met Mary. Now. You're basically putting them in a difficult situation. So fucking entitled. Edit thanks for clarifying about the laws, guys. You're the asshole you're taking money away from his children seriously dude you didn't earn or work for that money your entitlement is pathetic. You don't actually want to know if you're an asshole or not, you just want someone to justify your actions you already know you're the asshole. Oh in case you misunderstood, you're a massive asshole have a good day. You're the asshole. That money should absolutely be going to support his children. The only reason it isn't is likely because he hadn't gotten around to it yet. Your family is your responsibility to fund, not your brother's responsibility. This might be the worst one I've ever read. You're the asshole. Holy shit dude, get a freaking grip. You even say that you think he would have changed it if he had gotten round to it. So you know he would have wanted his wife and their children to have the money he made. You are not entitled to that money no matter the mental gymnastics you've done to convince yourself otherwise. You are a massive asshole. You're the asshole. But our opinions don't matter to you. You're dancing on the grave of your brother because you made different decisions than him and he was more successful. You're on here to gloat, not get advice. Good for you for stealing from two kids and a widow. I hope you're happy for the rest of your life with your ill-gotten funds. You're the asshole. Yeah. Your life sucks but there is no world in which your brother would not have wanted to take care of his wife and their children. You're exploiting a lapse of attention on his part to profit from his death. That's just gross as hell. You're the asshole. Yeah, your brother neglected to update his affairs, probably v because he didn't expect to die in a car crash. Now you'll happily make his children lose their home so you can finally live a nice life your brother worked for. You're the asshole. That money belongs to his wife and kids. You are stealing their inheritance. 
you come across as a very bitter individual. Be better op. You're the arsehole that's so shameful to deprive his widow and children. Dude, go to a lawyer and figure out the best way to give her most of the money. Pay for legal fees, pay any taxes in TBE transfer, and what is left goes to her. If you really want to keep ten, well, maybe, but... You're the asshole. Also, this is why you do estate and financial planning properly. Every newlywed couple needs to spend an hour in a lawyer's affix and a financial planner's office. You're the asshole. but what about my family? Have you considered going to graduate school and getting a career that would allow you to better provide for them? You can try to paint the narrative however you want, but it's pretty clear everyone is seeing right through your fantasies. You are exploiting your deceased brother's unfortunate oversight. It is despicable. You're the asshole. Sounds like you had a little resentment over your brother being more successful than you in the financial department. Maybe your brother didn't change his 401k cause he didn't think he was going to die unexpectedly. Mary deserves that money more than you, she's a mourning mother of two small children. You're the asshole. It's clear you didn't even like your brother and your motives are purely about the money. Imagine if the roles were reversed and Jay was withholding your life insurance and 401k from Brittany because you neglected to update your beneficiary, taunting her with the same logic as finders keepers. You're the asshole. He probably filled out the beneficiary paperwork when he was hired and forgot the policy even existed hand the money over to your sister-in-law and apologize. You're the asshole. With the pandemic and everything going on in his life, he probably hadn't had a chance to change the beneficiary. He leaves two young daughters behind whose life is going to drastically change and you're being selfish keeping the money. Unless he had a post-nuptial agreement, the wife must agree to give up 401k. I am calling OP a liar. I do not believe this, no employer would transfer those funds without a lot of documentation. Does not matter if they got married after he funded the account. Edited can be possible, with some plans, upon certain events, to move the 401k to an IRA without spousal consent, but OP does not say that. He specifically says 401k. Wow, just wow. I worked for an attorney that handled estates and I thought I had seen it all. Selfishness and greed for sure. The fact that you sound like this is your way of finally one-upping the golden child as you so jealously put it. What a disgrace. Up is an enormous, dirty, gaping asshole. Jesus fucking Christ, might be one of the worst ones I've read on here. She doesn't see that me using Jay's money for my kids is more important. Because it isn't. But what about my family? What about it? Whatever you're getting at here, it never was and still isn't your brother's responsibility to pay for your family. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Provide for your own family. People like you are disgraceful.